This audio was recorded for the Heads and Tails Mental Health Project with Chili Studios. Any thoughts on that? On the word or, the, or any of that? Claire? I think this is from, it, it, it's possibly come from the Heads and Tails Project um, Facebook site hmm. where there was a bit of a conversation about this, uh, recovery and uh, I posted a comment on saying that there was, there was some, some discussion about recovery communities and what was meant by that and I argued that um, there was no such thing as a recovery community, there was only people recovering in the community because by stating a recovery, defining a recovery community, we define a community within a community and isolate ourselves from the rest of society, which is not, I think, beneficial to anybody. Mm. Um, as for the word itself, it says here it's a process in one of the definitions. Now, if you've got a process, how long does that process go on for? And how do you measure success? Um, it says there's been some controversy in measuring success in the handout we've got. Um, what about a recovery now? Recovery now, colic. What does that um, expression mean? Is it, is it different from recovery? Well, I don't. Again, um, I posted up on the comment on that site, that uh, the Facebook page, that I, you know, I identified with being. Well, I, I've been called a recovering alcoholic. I fit myself into that category, but I disagree with that as well because. Again, that, that's, that limits what I can do, you know, uh, it limits my ambitions. You, if your only ambition is to be what you were before, <laughs> it's not much of an ambition, is it? It's also, by saying that, it's almost saying um, that you are a different person rather mm -hmm. than the, the same person who's had different experiences. Do you know what I mean? You're, you're, there's a part of it that's saying, I am now a different person. That exactly. I don't, that I don't, that I'm a bit suspicious of. Anyway. I don't. I agree with you. I don't see myself as a different person at all. I see myself as the same person who's chose to stop drinking. Mm. And I can reconcile myself with my past. You know, I don't shy away from it because that's part of me. Everything, everything that's in our past is part of us. It was us. You know, it is us. It's self made for us. We can't. It's not a. a, 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 a there's a. There's a there's no disjoint between what we were and what we are now, what we were yesterday and what we are today. I think there's a, a link should be stated with that. There's also a responsibility um, labelled, given them the stamp of a label, which is the, um, the manufacturers of such um, stuff, you know, toxic stuff, alcohol. They say, you know, you drink with responsibility, but it's potent stuff, isn't it? Well, yes, there's no health warning on, yeah. uh, on it, is there? But the you word think? recovery implies that something is wrong, doesn't it? If you say, you know, I'm going to make a full recovery, you're going to make, you know, it could be from an accident or, you know, mm -hmm. from an illness, but it does imply that, that something that you experienced was, was wrong. Saying alcohol's medica a medication for some Sorry? as well, don't they? They say alcohol's been medication for some when they haven't been able to find it um, or to approach a doctor or whatever. So it's kind of a double edged sword, isn't it? Alcohol. I mean, I, yeah, I mean, I think the word, because it's obviously it's used with alcohol, it's used with uh, substances, it's used with, with health. I, th I like, I like the, f the that 14th century word, that, well, that, you know, meaning which is just to regain health. Mm -hmm. I think, but I think at lots of time, or certainly nowadays, it's used as, as um, especially if you look at social inclusion, it's like, well, you know, you, you were outside the norm, you became, you know, abnormal, different, and now you're recovering, so, you, you know, you can, you're now falling back into the pack, you know, and that's good because we must, you know, we must be in line. Uh, that's how. That's one angle that I see with with the word that I don't like. 
What yeah. are we recovering from? Like a multiplicity of things, you know, like um, food addiction, alcohol, um, so sociopathic. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it, 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 it could be society, all sorts of things. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, society's. Um, I think you know? a lot of time this. I mean, what this project's been about has been about mental health, but that, but then. Yeah. You know, so f from, you know, maybe maybe bouts of, of mental health that, that then you have recovered from. I don't know whether that's the, well, that's one of the things. But. Recovery can apply to an object, it says here as well. You know, it doesn't just have to apply to people. Yeah. An object, the more you recovered, you know, action taking a vehicle. To, you know, it's, it, we, we're talking about, I presume, in the narrow context, of the, the, the narrow context of uh, recovering from mental health. So what's... Yeah. Uh, another word that springs to mind a wider is wider branch, doesn't it? Pardon? Mental health's connected to a wider branch of everything. You know, does society work? Is you know the various forms of society? Does it work really? You know, is there a why are why are we specific in in our individualism in terms of what we've suffered? Uh, is there an outlet for you know for one is anger? You know. Where do we? Where does an individual put anger and you know emotions? There's no. You're kind of forced into yourself to solve it yourself, to solve your own, to find a pathway of recovery by yourself. You, um, you you have cognitive therapy, etc., etc. But you have professionals there doing their job and earning their wage, going back to their families um, and getting involved to an extent, but they're getting a wage. You know, it all branches off the society work. Well, that's what I, that's, the, that's what I think. Um, does society really work? You know, you have infrastructure, you have media, you have communication, you have services, you have, um, politics, you have wars, what's wars about, you know, the, the professionals can have like wars and kill people on the other side of the world and there are connections here, but like individuals, individuals who are labelled like mentally ill, there's a contradiction there, you know, you can, this society can kind of direct people and like military systems to kill people mm -hmm. and that can be made to be perceived as being an okay then, normal process you know you shout yeah. in the pub or whatever mm -hmm. or you shout out on the street and you right you, you put away you know mm -hmm. oh there, there, there are avenues yeah. for that yes you can get political and you can get you know you disagree with kind of animals being killed or slaughtered or whatever or you you disagree with um there are, there are avenues in politics, the politics seems to go around in a circle. It seems to come back with the same thing and you see the same thing on the news over and over again. So, okay. yeah, so sorry, that's the question. What, what's, what, would you, what would you say the difference is between recovery and saying I was restored to health? Restored? Like you've obtained something back, like something has been taken from you? Restored? Has a, it does have a different meaning, doesn't it? Mm. Um, Store is what we're talking about. Yeah. Well, what's the, well, that's what I'm trying to explore. What's the difference? Between recovery, yeah. Mm. yeah. Restored recovery implies suggests, that somebody yeah. else is involved in, in the process, I think. What about restoring your computer from a backup drive yourself? Well, yeah, that's quite a big one, isn't it? That one? Recovery kind of implies that it's. I uh, think it's time. A natural process or, a, yeah, or something that you've initiated yourself. Yeah, yeah. Time's involved, isn't it? Yeah, restores almost um, started again, isn't it? A bit. Restoration, yes. the monarchy, things like that. Yeah. Made, made new, almost. Well, what about the restoration of the monarchy? Just I, putting back what was before. Mm. I don't think you can mm. recover completely from. Um, some things that happen to you, like for one me, I lost my mum when I was little to cancer. 
Mm. And that had a massive effect on me. So do you think that, yeah, do you, I, mean, I think that's a really interesting thing, is, you know, is there no such thing as recovering? Is, you know... It's a, some things are life, lifelong conditions, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> you can have a dose of flu, or you can have a head injury, and you can make a full recovery. But if you're bereaved, mm. you have to make sense of that for the rest of your life. Mm. Yeah. But when you're talking about therapists and getting the peer, yeah, a lot of them do, but there was one really good one that I came across that really explored, I, I, Andy you mentioned a lot, explored my anger and uh, helped me to find out where I come from and, yeah. and that helped me to cope with it. Yeah. But you know, it's a, it's, I'll There's never be recovered from there. it. There's some gems out there, they are. Um, I'll, I'll, um, I'll know how, I could, because I know where it comes from now, and it comes from my yeah. me, me early life. Yeah. Um, I know how to deal with it better. I know to recognise the warning signs, the triggers. But it's still um, there, isn't it? It's but I could, I could never fully recover from that problem because it happened too early in my life. Yeah. Um, so how, how do you measure recovery, if at all? Mm -hmm. How do you measure success? Mm -hmm. How do you measure progress that you make in the recovery, if mm -hmm. it's a mental recovery? And also, and I agree with what you were saying, David, there, recovery is almost implying that the, the where you are is, is, a ba is, is either a broken or a bad place. You know, many times, you know, that, that certainly you could, you could def definitely argue that, but it, um, I think that deciding on, on good and bad um, and make, making it almost moral in a way is, is, is dangerous. Making yeah, it, making, well, it making it a bit moral, or you know, uh, you know, having saying that you've gone from a bad place to a good place, you know, to I, d I don't know, I'm not sure whether that whether that's healthy to think in those terms, to think one thing is bad and the other thing is good, you know, and and in terms of you know where you are in terms of this of this idea of normal, um, I am just suspicious of of, of it. Mm. Well, I would say alcoholism is definitely bad, you know, I, mm. I, I would argue with anybody who would call it good. Sure, sure. <laughs> so there are cases. It's, it's a bit harder to say it. it would always be the alcoholic's fault, 100%, their mm. responsibility. Although if you're using good and bad, you ten, it tends to follow that anything that's gone wrong is somebody's fault. Yeah. Yeah, that's I know you, interesting. You, know, you, you take, you know, you're under both responsibility. Well, who well, takes responsibility for recovery? Well, I was, yeah, I was told in hospital that it was down to me. Mm. <laughs> but uh, you need help, and uh, you need. Yeah, yeah. You but ultimately, help. you know, when, when I stopped drinking, it was me that decided. Nobody else. All the help in the world didn't make me stop, but just helped yeah. me to stop. But it's interesting there, you know, what Graham's touched on really, that, that alcohol is a more, is, is, is like, as in the effects of it are, are bad, but you or any person that is an alcoholic or has been an alcoholic isn't bad, that person isn't bad. So it's, it's interesting mm -hmm. to, to, to have that differentiation, because I think that, I think, I think sometimes there is that when it's talking about being, being outside the normal, being, you know, uh, where you've gone from, where you've come from to be recovered, is that you know, is that you're now not bad anymore. Alcohol is a difficult one uh, because look, most people I would say drink, just that I drank a bit more than most people. Mm -hmm. So I did exactly the same thing as most people did, but to uh, to um, beyond acceptable limits. I mean, as well. I mean, if you're talking you're talking about things like um, substances or alcohol stuff like that. You know, there's whole loads of different um, uh, hypocrisy in that area. You know, because there's there's plenty of very normal, uh, upstanding people that, that look down on you know, say, a cannabis user, whilst you know, medicating with with stuff that they've got from the doctor, which is all very proper. But it's you know, you can't you know, it's not easy to differentiate and say one is good or one is bad. Well, my behaviour was bad, you know, and that. Uh, disinhibited my behaviour, which most people keep bottled up, you know, and, mm. and 
you know, when, when they get drunk, you can see that they, you know, they, they don't always act uh, in a wise way. You know, you just got to look at you know, drunks drunk over the town and you say, well, they behave like them. Let's. So we can say, you think we can say that there is an, an acceptable range of alcohol usage, and if you go beyond that, then um, you're in danger of becoming alcoholic, an alcoholic. Well, there is a limit to physics. Industry has a few dumb people's. Um, yeah, well, I think one of the things that illustrates the hypocrisy about alcohol the most is that you know, if it was a new drug now and they tested it yeah. and found out what the effects of it were, it would never be yeah. so legally and it would be classified, you know, as a class A drug and all the rest of it. But it's just because it's so deeply embedded in the culture, yeah. Yeah. it has been for so long, you know, that has this veneer of respectability or whatever. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's completely hypocritical and mm-hmm. there's no logic to it really at all. But it's about money at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. It's like but it's so much in the culture that, yeah. you, know, in, you know, it's from, you know, ancient times wine has been a um, a drug that people have used throughout history so it's been a prescription as well isn't it? hmm? it's been a pre- doctor's prescription is it yeah, yeah. people have had their legs off you too <laughs> Yeah, it's supposed to do you good. It is a good on a set of <laughs> The other thing that's yeah. we're talking about here is, is um, who makes the decision where, where you've uh, either become uh, outside what's appropriate in your mental, uh, you know, in your behaviour, uh, in your mental health, in your drinking and whatever it might be. You know, this, we're, we're talking about our own, like in a way, our, an individual's decision that they, they are ill or they're, they're suffering or whatever, and then, then, then their path to recovery. Exactly. But I'm sure there's many occasions where society has judged per, a person to be outside what is okay and what is uh, appropriate, and then have then set about uh, managing their recovery back into the flock, so to speak. It's all relevant, relevant, relevant to, to the way other people see what's acceptable and what's not. So it's like there's a warning or okay on the bottle, but it's left to the individual to decide and left to your um, you know your experiences and stuff. It's a bit. Um, well, I give the risks, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't stop us, but uh, yeah, I agree there should be a warning on the bottle. Yeah. So I think just in case it. people don't get the message first time. Yeah. I think there should be a larger warning on the bottle, you know. There should be a warning on the bottle. A larger warning on the bottle. This is a little warning. But everyone knows the warning, don't they? Should we, should we write something now? Um, just to, it'd be good to write our own thoughts on it. Um, and just before we start, the, the pie yeah. and what I believe there is PLA. I would, I would dispute whether it's PLA. Um, these are my experience of it. Is it's any organisation that claims to be peer-led or user or user led ends up getting dominated by a small group of people who make all the real decisions, and that's mm. just human nature. Mm. Okay, so should we write, should we write, um, well, let's just use recovery as a title and write whatever our thoughts are on, on this. Right, like a sort of serious thing. Yeah. Could be a mouse in a kettle having a conversation. <laughs> <laughs>